Okay, so we're just going to demonstrate some of the touch features within Windows 7, um, the release candidate uh, version. Um, we're just going to load up Internet Explorer. And uh, this is running on a Dell Latitude XT, one of the original ones. So it's a Core 2 Duo uh, 1.33 GHz Ultra Mobile CPU. And it is running on battery mode just now, so it's not the fastest thing in the world. Um, we're just going to browse to Wikipedia. And one of the things you can do in uh, most browsers, I think, under Windows 7, you can uh, flick scroll like this. And uh, that's really responsive, very nice and smooth, and when you get to the bottom and the top of the page, it bounces, just to give you some visual feedback of that. If you try and drag past the top, you see the window resists your movement there. And we're just going to browse on to another page, so that we can show the forwards and back uh, gesture within the browser. You can flick a page like that, you get a nice little animation just to show that happening. And that's pretty reliable, as long as the user can actually do it, which at the moment I can't seem to, but there we go. Um, so that's a nice feature as well. Um, browsing within the, sorry, zooming within the browser, you can do that with two fingers. It's a bit jerky, um, it's not so fast at the moment. The um, reason for that, I think, is simply because it's using the zoom function within the browser, which is in uh, set increments. Um, and it's a pretty slow process on this slower machine anyway, um, but that does work pretty well. Um, so we'll just close that. Now, right-clicking in the operating system, um, you used to have to hold down your finger for a few seconds just to get that circle up. Um, that's pretty time-consuming. So uh, now they've added a multi-touch gesture to do that instead, um, you can put your first finger wherever you want to right click, um, say we'll do it on the user folder icon up there, and then uh, we we'll put the second finger on the screen and that will do the right click, so we'll just do that. And that works really well, so here. Very responsive, very usable, so really nice addition there. And we'll just go into my pictures and load up this uh, fantastic image I drew in uh, paint earlier just to show the rotation, so we'll take two fingers and rotate. And that is, again, really responsive, very nice. Um, zooming, very responsive within uh, Windows Photo Viewer there. Obviously we can drag images around uh, within Windows Photo Viewer as well. Uh, we'll just load up Paint, which is now multi-touch aware, so we can, uh, on this system, we'll just take up to four fingers, and that works really well. Um, and we'll just load up Notepad and uh, demonstrate the multi-touch keyboard now. So uh, the old keyboard wasn't multi-touch aware, which meant if you tried to press more than one key at a time, as you often do when you're typing, then um, it's not going to work very well. Now you can do that Obviously we need to be in the window, and that works very well. You get uh, lovely visual feedback when you hit keys, makes it easy to see that you've actually hit the right key. Um, I think you could probably type pretty fast on this keyboard uh, if you practiced at it. Um, it does give you some uh, predictive text options as well up here. Um, like that. Uh, I haven't found that particularly useful at the moment, but I'm sure if you got used to it you could really use those. Um, so that's a nice addition as well. Uh, big improvement over Windows Vista's um, keyboard. And we're just going to log off and show the difference with the log on screen on screen keyboard. One of the problems with the keyboard giving visual feedback is that it could let somebody else see what password you're putting into the system. So this one doesn't give visual feedback. However, it does make it difficult to know that you've typed your password in uh, right, or you've hit the right key, or you've hit a key at all, because the only thing that happens is you get the dots up there. 
uh, but I can see why they've done that as a security reason. All in all, uh, Touch is working really nicely under Windows 7, um, fast improvement over Windows Vista, and uh, really makes the Latitude XT a, a joy to use, so uh, really nice work there from Microsoft.